Hi, my name is Armando. I uh, this opportunity I would like to show you in a small video how you can change the remote address for your satellite system. Now in this particular instance we're gonna be focusing on a Bell Express system or Dish Network system. As you can see on the picture right here, uh, this is a brand new remote for Dish Network. And what I'm about to show you is how you can change the remote frequency. Now, the first question I always get asked is, why in the world I would like to change the remote frequency? The reason you would like to change the remote frequency is because sometimes some remotes will interfere each other. So, in let's, for instance, tell you a case. I have a TV downstairs and I have TV at, a TV upstairs. Each one has a receiver. If I have not changed the remote frequency, my remote upstairs will change the channels downstairs. That's because one of the remotes uses radio frequencies. Now, to avoid that, then you have to change the remote address, and that's what I'm going to show you. Now, this is a basic remote from Bell Express, oh sorry, Dish Network. However, it will work um, for any remote as long as it's Dish Network or Bell Express you. Now, it's four steps involved in this. Uh, first of all, I'll show you uh, with the remote the buttons that I'll press, and then we'll go to the TV screen and you will see how that goes. The first step that you will have to do is press and hold the SAT button, and that will be the button right here that you see on the top left hand side. You press it and hold it, and you hold it until it's flashing. While it's flashing, you press a number between 1 and 9, so let's say 2. You will notice the button on the SAT is stay on. The next step that you will do is you press the number sign key, and that's the bottom right hand side button. That will memorize the number 2 remote address. As soon as you do that, it will flash 3 times and you press record. When you do that, the remote frequency will change on the remote. Now, the only thing that you have to be careful though is that you have to do it uh, while you're pointing to the receiver. Because if you don't do it, then the remote won't work on the receiver. So, you have to do these steps while you're aiming to the receiver. Now let's recap it again. You press and hold the satellite TV button top left hand side. You choose a number between 2 and 9, so let's say 3. The light will stay on. You press pound. It will flash 3 times and then you press record when it flashes the third time. And that will change the remote address on the remote. Now let's do it using the TV screen. So check this out. As you can see, there is a remote address there that it says 3. Now, let me change that one to 1. So, step 1, as I show you first, you, I press and hold the satellite button until it starts flashing. While it's flashing, I press number 1. Step 3, you press the pound key. And as soon as I press that, I press pound or the record button. And you will notice the remote address has changed to 1. Now let's do it again. Let's change it to 4. I press and hold the satellite button. While I'm flashing, I press, let's say, number 5. I press pound. The remote is flashing 1, 2, 3. And I press record button. Actually, you have to press it twice to make sure. And if you notice, the remote address changed to number 5. That's how simple it is. So from now on, this remote will work on that receiver only. Normally, Dish Network and Bell Express View have remotes with an address number 1 by default. So it is your responsibility, obviously, using any number different than 1. I hope you find this uh, video interesting. And then if you have any questions, concern, or anything, you can always email me. My link is in my website. And my website is www.satelliteconnectionsystems.com. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.